Hi YouTube, this is your girl Sandra aka Simply Love and I'm here to do your mid-month reading for the sign of Aries, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I've been having computer issues. I know every it's the retrograde. I guess that's what's really going on. It's computer issues. <clears throat> So I'm so sorry. My videos are, are late, but I've been, you know, putting up my videos and getting slammed with calls. So I'm doing all this in between time. Okay, so I apologize, but we are getting it done for you guys. Uh, please uh, follow me on Instant Go. I see a lot of you have followed me already. Um, if you have an iOS system, which is a smartphone or um, an iPad or an iPhone, I'm sorry. Um, Android's not out on it yet, but when it does come out, we will make that announcement for you Android users. If you do have an iPhone or iPad or a friend's iPhone or iPad or a PC or anything, you can go to um, go to my um, description below. I'm all over the place. Go to the description below <laughs> and, t and um, click on the tab. And it'll take you right to my page and you can go ahead and follow me in case you have some quick questions you need to be answered right away, okay? And that's on Instant Go. You go to instantgo.com on your computer and find me there, okay? Or iOS system, click the link below. Download the app on your iPad or your iPhone and, and you, you know, you can get connected to me. <clears throat> so I also got some emails. Uh, from people stating they wanted me to read intuitively. Uh, they like the intuitive reading before I start the reading, so that's what I'm going to do for you. Intuitive means, you know, you don't have any cards. You're just relying on spirit. I rely on spirit even when I do the cards, so, <clears throat> so, but, you know, everything should match up from what whatever spirit brings out in the cards, okay? So, here we go for the sign of Aries. I'm so sorry. I'm just a little tired from all the stuff I had to do today. I apologize for that, but I'm ready. I'm good. You guys are my last ones, okay? <laughs> so, Aries. Let's see what spirit messages has to say for you. Oh, Aries. I feel like some of you Aries out there are feeling really down in the dumps. I felt this with another sign. A lot of the signs is really doing good. And I'm not saying you guys are doing bad or anything. I'm just saying maybe you guys are coming out of some muddy, muddy, muddy or waters or something's going on here with you guys. You feeling like a sudden loss. Some of you feeling like some kind of sudden loss or... <clears throat> Some type of sadness, some type of disappointment for you guys. Um, um, I feel like you guys need some type of self, I'm hearing self-discipline, like some kind of self-control where you can um, uh, get your emotions back, like meditation, consultation. spirituality, maybe a spiritual counselor, maybe a psychic, a medium, somebody who can really help you out and put, you know, your life back in balance again because I feel like a lot of you feel like your life is out of balance. Some of you may have lost a job. Um... Some of you need to open up your heart as well. Spirit is telling me you need to not stop, get out of your head where you're in your head all the time and start, you know, feeling your emotions or getting in tune with your emotion, your emotional side and be creative. You guys are are known to be creative and expanding your horizons and doing things um, in a spontaneous way living outside the box. Um, most of you are entrepreneurs, I'm hearing. You know, uh, uh, a lot of the fire signs like to have their own business because they have a problem with authority because they like to be in charge, okay? You guys like to be in charge. So, 
come up and be creative. It's now's the time for you to be creative and find something to do on your own instead of trying to work for other for, for companies and things like that. It's time for you to cut the cord on that is what I'm hearing. For some of you, I feel like there's some things that's happening that's not turning in your favor right now. But be patient, Aries. I'm hearing be patient. Hang in there. Don't lose yourself within. Don't get impatient. Be patient because things will turn around. But you have to be patient. You have to talk to your spirit guides and ask them to lead you and follow your intuition. Because I, like I said, I'm feeling some kind of disappointment that you've had for some of you. And I feel like some of you need to stop uh, with that. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and stop crying over spilt milk. Don't be crying over you no know, something that's just not that's gone. You know, you always have an opportunity to come out of this situation or whatever you're feeling here. That's all I really have right now. That's all I'm feeling right now. There's open up your heart. That's all I keep hearing, uh, Aries. Open your heart up. You know, let some love inside. Let the love inside you have uh, exhume itself on outside and bring others around you who love you and care about you and help you. Seek guidance, okay? Something disappointing happened to you guys, and it's got you down a little bit. But hey. Heads up. Give me a call if you have to. I'll lift your spirits up. Take you where you need to where you need to be. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got here for for Aries. Spirit, what are the messages you have for Aries for the month of April? Fifteenth through the thirtieth. Spirit guides, ancestors. What do you have? What messages do you have for Aries for the month of April? Just give me a few minutes to shuffle, to shuffle, to shuffle. Give me a few minutes to shuffle while I shuffle the cards. <laughs> That's a little entertainment, okay? Yep, see, you suffered some disappointment. There's the tower. Something suddenly happened. Some of y'all lost someone in your life. Um, two people going their separate ways. Um, and it was a sudden thing. See, what we talked about intuitively, that's why you guys are probably feeling that sadness or loss because of something that happened. With the tower being here, um, with the Ace of Swords, it's, you know, something that came out about some lies, okay? You got something um, within reverse, somebody lying, uh, somebody not telling the truth about something, okay? Um, and the Magician is here with this card. I'm putting it like, you know, maybe this was some trickster, okay? Could have been dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or a... Um, I think this is Cancer, okay? Um... Somebody could have been, you know, pulling the wool over your eyes. Some of you may have lost a, a job, like I said, or there's romance. It talks about holding on tightly to something or something you felt really close to your heart and you, you know, had a hard time le uh, letting it go. This could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn's energy. It could be in your natal chart, okay? I feel like for some of you, you had to stand your ground. It's the king or queen of, of uh, <coughs> swords. <coughs> uh, this person could be, you know, really bitchy in the upright, okay? Um, he or she is just like <coughs> had the last straw or had the last word or given some kind of ultimatum. 
And this king or queen of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, somebody's become independent. There's an ultimatum, I believe, was given. And then somebody was like, well, I'm just going to be independent. Because I'm not holding on to this crap no more. It's bullshit. You're a trickster. You're a con artist. You're lying. You're not telling the truth. And that's why, you know, the shit's blown all to hell. And, uh, and it was certainly a heartbreak to find all this out, okay, with the Three of Swords. No wonder I felt this sadness. Okay, Three of Swords, all right. Uh, and now somebody's gone crazy, okay? That's my crazy card. I don't care what nobody say about it. That's how I look at it, the crazy. And there's another crazy, okay? Two crazy cards together. Some of y'all can be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? This is what I told y'all about some y'all feeling sad. I mean, the cards, I, you know, spirit don't lie, man. That's why I'm glad y'all mentioned me doing the intuitive now so you can see. The card, you know, spirit is backing me up with these cards. So somebody's a heart got their heart broken, and somebody, you know, because they went left. Somebody's giving an ultimatum, stay or go. Somebody left, and it caused some heartbreak here. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra energy. I'm picking up, and uh, somebody's being stalkerish, crazy, and stalkerish as hell. Okay, <laughs> communication. You see how they got that sword up? They like they already ready to battle, already got some words to say, or somebody's ready to cut somebody's head off. Not literally, you know what I mean. Somebody's ready to stalking and carrying on. Somebody's calling somebody all the time, texting somebody to death. That's what that card means. Somebody's you know acting a nut a nutty. Okay, <laughs> Ten of Swords is here. Look, you got all these sword cards. All mental conflict, all this communication bullshit going on with somebody who could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. That needs, you know, this stuff needs to be put to an end. Okay, you're ending the backstabbing. Okay, you're ending all that backstabbing stuff. That's what I was feeling on y'all reading. No wonder you got the Two of Cups uh, where somebody, I guess, you know. This was a couple, or it could have been a marriage, okay? A relationship. It's the King of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Depends who's watching the video. Remember, the court cards has no gender. Okay, um, could have been over. Somebody could have left somebody and went and, and went to a to this Pentacles person, okay? Somebody who's more mature. Somebody's got their stuff together. Somebody who's reliable and balanced and, and on top of the game plan, okay? There's the Nine of Cups and somebody's happy now. Or some cases, some of you are you're happy about this situation. It could be some it could be some of your it could some of this could be your this could, person could be your soulmate, okay? Somebody you need your soulmate. This king. Let me get these cards right. How did this one go? Okay. Here's it's the king first, then the soulmate, and then the happy card. Is that right? So this cluster right here is a good thing, okay? But you had to leave something behind a crazy, freaking stalkish, jealous hearted, mean spirited. Full of shit, crazy as hell, who broke your heart because you decided to go in alone because they was giving some damn demanding uh, uh, ultimatums to you. Or it could, this story could go vice versa, okay? So some of y'all going to end, you know, that's what I'm saying. Don't worry about this heartbreak or whatever you suffered or if you've done this to someone. Don't worry about it because... You got something good coming along, which is your soulmate. But you know, you have to make you gotta make that choice. Got two paths here to take. Gotta make a choice. Which way do you want to go? Three of Cups, mate. You know, whatever two you choose here, you want to make sure that you're happy because there's celebrations here for you. With the six of wands, it's telling me you're gonna be victorious, Aries. See, that's why you gotta hang in there for whatever's going on, and you gotta make a transformation with the death card. You gotta release the old for the new to come in. And um that way, you know, you got the uh the hangman in reverse, so <clears throat> so somebody's not waiting. 
Somebody's not hanging around anymore. They're no longer waiting for somebody. It's just like they're letting it go. The Two of Swords, somebody don't want to see something for what it really is. Somebody's not waiting around for somebody who may be an air sign because they lied. Okay, and so, and then it caused a big ass breakup. All right, and they were the trickster. Okay, they were the trickster and the freaking. Now it's time to make some kind of transformation in from old to the new, and you will be a winner. Okay, and you will be celebrating here, Aries. This is your hope and stuff that spirit has for you. So you got two paths to take, a decision to make. You know, regarding someone who is a lot more healthier for you and possibly your soulmate here. Okay, um, somebody here may be a little jealous of you feeling good about yourself because they gave you an ultimatum and I don't think you took it. I think you went on your own because you felt betrayed and heartbroken and maybe found out there was a third party because this person's acting crazy as hell. They're being stalkerish and, you know, communicating a little bit too much. They're going overboard here. So now it's time to put this shit to an end and hold back on your feelings and emotions. Let me use another deck with y'all, okay? I think that was a lot. <sighs> this is a totally different deck, you guys, okay? Hold on. Let me shuffle real good for ya. <laughs> Oh, I act silly. I act silly, especially toward the end of the night. So sorry, guys. Okay, Spirit, what are the rest messages? Any further messages you have for the sign of uh, Aries uh, from the 15th until the 30th, 30th of this month. Any more messages that you may have for the sign of Aries? Jeez. That was like somebody gurgitating. All right, let's see what they got here. Spirit says here, you got the Six of Pentacles where there's going to be some type of balance in your life. Uh, even give and take. That's great. Even give and take. I feel like these uh, you're going to release these swords out of your back, all this backstabbing that's been going on, okay? Um, and the five of swords is you're going to, you know, somebody feels defeated behind it, okay? There's some type of feeling of defeat. This is your energy. No, this is Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Some of y'all been dealing with some air signs because you got it all throughout your reading or you have air in your natal chart, Okay. The pentacles, you could be dealing with an earth energy as well. Um, walking away from a situation that you uh, were emotionally attached to. Um, the six of wands is talking about, you know, some type of even exchange, even give and take. That's why you walked away from a situation, okay, and became independent, king or queen of pentacles. Um, and now you're basking in the sun. You're enjoying your life. You're having fun. All right. Um, but there is a devil energy here. You know, someone who's trying to not see you happy here. So be careful of this return. Somebody could be returning some kind of unhealthy situation here. Um, so you need to watch out for that energy because they're trying to block you from your, uh, your, um, soulmate. Okay. They're trying to interfere. Somebody's trying to come back here. It looks like you're all, you're happy. You're you're happy to be independent right now, but now it's coming up for a soulmate. But there's there there there's this devil unhealthy energy coming back in here to try to spoil your fun. So you're gonna have to put your foot down, come up with come some kind of strategy, and be strong. Okay, be methodical. Be uh. Or this person may be coming here like this and they may be trying to be playing games, okay? So you're going to have to be careful because this person left you out in the cold, all right, and broke your little heart. So it caused you to move on with the three of with the three of wands to, you know, make another, to, to see your future, seeing your, 
you're seeing your ships coming in. You're seeing yourself, you know, moving on forward from maybe a third party situation. Here's the third party. One, two, three. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, also for some of you, it means like, you know, you're moving on and turn your back on this person with this that has a problems and issues and you're just going to celebrate for some of you hit it on bullseye you hit it okay with the two of swords okay two of swords is about you know making a decision being cross you know probably not seeing something for what it is uh, or being in denial for some. There could be somebody being in denial of you not making a decision or seeing things for what it really is. Okay, you got the world in your hands, so the future is yours with the Two of Wands. That means making a plan about your future. You got the world in your hands. Study it, see which way you want to go here. And the hermit, you know, take some time out to yourself and wait, okay? Wait on it. See what your inner guides say. I feel like some of you princess or, or prince of wands, this is your energy, okay? Where you're going to be back on your, you're going to be back, you got your mojo back. Can I say that? You got your mojo back because you released a lot of unhealthy baggage, okay? You were carrying too much weight and you released it. Let something go here. And then you're going to be the fool and take a leap of faith, okay? So starting all over, brand new beginnings. And you'll avoid this heartbreak or you're not even going to be worried about this heartbreak. Because you're moving on to better pastures, okay? And you got the emperor here where you, you know, totally got your, pulled yourself together. All right? So there you go. Now, <laughs> let's... um. Do some confirmation or oh, it just fell right out. Two of them. So, no, three of them. I think you guys going to need three because you've been, I see you've been through some stuff here. And it says, you know what? Spirit loves you. They love you. You needed to hear that, Aries, males and females. You're loved. Don't worry. You're loved. Okay. The union of the hearts. You got the union of the hearts. Okay. There is a connection of love that defies defines defies explanation. So that's kind of like the soulmate card. A lot of you are going to run into your soulmate. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So there's love all around you. This all talks about love, all three of these cards, and y'all needed to hear this, Aries. So there you go. We love you. Spirit loves you. Okay? You are loved. Come out of the, come out of this, whatever you're going through, come out of it. I feel like I need to do something else for you guys, you know, because I do, I do feel that low energy there. Let me do a couple of uh, angel cards for you and see what they say. Okay, you got the four water. It says, miss, uh, missing an opportunity, discontentment, or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. So, you got the sun now, okay? The sun. So, the sun. You're going to have an ap happy outcome, Aries, okay? Uh... Good new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in yourself, Aries. You're going to be just fine. I feel like I had to pull those two extra cards for y'all to lift your spirits up from whatever it is that you're going through. Some of you are going to be um, experiencing a, a harsh breakup with somebody who's freaking out of their freaking mind, okay? If this is not happening to you, you can always turn it around or you may be doing this to someone else, okay? But this is your reading, okay? So <laughs> most of the time it's happening to you guys, okay? So I hope that all made sense. Um, if you'd like to have a personal private reading with me for your own personal uh, reading and see what spirit has for you and you only, Look below in the description. You'll find all the information there you need. And remember, I love you guys. Love you. Love you, Aries. Love everyone. Thank you so much for your beautiful comments. And I will see you next month. Take care now. Bye.